Hey everyone, we got here, we just opened it, I haven't even looked inside of it, is a new package from Newegg. This is a couple GPUs arriving. The scalper market is insane. I saw a guy posting RTX 3060 Ti for $2,000 Canadian. Also, I saw a guy posting 1660s for $800 a piece. That's not insanity. I don't know what is. Anyway, so this is what we got here. Two Asus TUF Gaming 1660 Supers. These cards mine at the rate of a properly overclocked 1070 Ti when these are properly overclocked. And it only uses as much power as a 1066 gig that has had its power turned down. Okay, we're back here, unboxed. It's got the plastic on it and whatever. One eight pin connector, which is great. One DVI, one HDMI, one display port. Let's hook these up. We'll save the boxes, of course, and uh, I'll get back to you once uh, we have everything up and running. All right, guys, here we are at the mining rig here. I'm currently stuck with six GPUs. I haven't been able to get enough parts to get a whole nother mining rig together, PSU, motherboard, CPU, all that. I had two of these um, GPUs that were running hot, um, pretty hot, enough so that I had to go into Afterburner and manually increase the fan speed. So if you look here on GPU two, I've manually increased the fan speed to stay at 75 to keep the temperature down to 65. And then the same with GPU four. I had to increase the fan speed to 70 to keep it to 64. Otherwise, these were sitting at 69, 70 all the time, and I didn't want that. I only have one gigabyte 1060 on the rig, and so that's easy to know which one that is. And this GPU 4 here, I have two MSI G4, so it's kind of hard to tell which one's which. So what I'm gonna do is move over here and use Afterburner and go to that one that I'm unsure about and like raise the fan speed to like 100, and, and I'll go over here and identify the one because those two 1060s, are the ones I'm gonna replace with the new 1660s that I just showed you. Okay, so we found the culprit. Between the two MSIs, one would think this is the warm one, but I think it being right on the edge probably helps. This is actually the one that's really hot. So these two graphics cards, we're gonna be taking these out and we are going to be swapping those with those 1660s. What we're gonna do is hook up both 1660s, compare the hash rates, before we use Afterburner, and then we'll also compare the results after using Afterburner and see where we're at. All right, we are back just momentarily here. See the two new 1060 Supers are in. The two old 1060s are out. <clears throat> what I do is just make sure they show up in Device Manager. I'm gonna go to Display Adapters. Now, usually what happens is, okay. So, two 1066 keys are still there, my 1070, only one 1660 Super is showing up. So that's not a good sign. Uh, I take that back, they're both showing up. There, I didn't do anything there, that was just me waiting. So now it's telling me, I have six GPUs online, two 1066 gigs, a 1070 Ti, two 1660 Supers, and my 3070. Okay, here we are. Benchmarks are complete and we have not uh, overclocked yet. So you see my 1060s, as always, they're at high 22s. The 1660 Supers, it's a little, sorry, it's a little bit higher there, 26.6, and the other one is at 26.5. You see the temperatures are higher than they should be, so we're gonna dial that in right away because this is not good compared to 61, 62. All right, we are back with the post overclocked results for the 1660 Supers. It was a little more challenging than I expected for this main reason. If you open CPU Z right here, if you look at my 1660 Supers, they have memory made from Hynix. This is important information. And this means your regular overclock settings generally won't work. I tried ones I was finding online and I was only getting from 23 and then up to 24 mega hash per second. And that these should be getting 30 to 31. Now, Afterburner, these TU116-Bs, these are the two 1660 Supers. If you notice here, I've set my power limit to 70, technically, the TDP on these is 125. You can move it down to 80. And that works out to a 64% power limit. So maybe we'll try 65 in a bit. We'll see how that goes. But right now I'm at 70. I'll play with the couple percentages later. Core clock, minus 502. That's the minimum it can go. And memory clock, minus 502. That's the minimum it can go. I believe if you're on Linux, this can go 
down double to like 1004, but I'm not sure if that's core or memory. I'm really not sure. I'm not that well versed in Linux. This results in a mining rate of just over 31 and just over 31. 1060s are still at 22.9 and 22.8, so that's pretty good. And the 1070 is chugging away as it usually does just above 30, maybe up to 31. Just wanted to share with you those results. Just be very careful of what memory you have if you're using these 1660s because this Hynix memory threw me for a loop and that took a while for me to uh, me to figure out. Minus 502 on both of these, 31 mega hash on those 1660 supers. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or let me know. And uh, yeah, when I have another update, I'll have uh, I'll have another video out. I'm hoping to get a new motherboard and CPU tomorrow. And then hopefully I'll be able to start the search for a power supply, getting some more GPUs, that type of thing, and get a second rate together. That's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Have a good day.